morning it's uh, day 21 i'm just leaving for trees behind where i stayed in a hotel last night very nice that was as well for tree arms or something like that um very tastefully decorated um yeah so uh, plan today is to try and get to st ives um it's quite a long distance about 18 miles um, but well my plan is I will get season eyes because I might cheat towards the end um, once I get to hail um, if I'm getting tired or running out of time etc etc I'll jump on the train um, into St eyes that's a bit of a boring stretch anyway and then depending on how guilty I'm feeling tomorrow morning I'll uh, pop back and do the stretch that I missed off um, because I've got some stuff a recent by package to pick up in St Ives tomorrow so uh, yeah that's the plan anyway see how we uh, do we go on had a good night's sleep solid eight hours so hopefully fully refreshed I believe uh, well, we're already on one sort of fairly steep climb I think we've got two or three fairly steep climbs to start the day off with and then uh, it should sort of flatten out a bit here we are at the bottom now we're going to go all the way up this hill um, we should be used to these by now just a few steps
hear this because of the uh, wind noise, but walking along this beach is hard work. But sometimes the sand goes as soft as this. This is Carvis Bay, where um, all the G7 and that lot gathered last year. Very nice it is as well. Day 22, I'm just at Carbis Bay Railway Platform. Um, last night I, um, I walked this far from um, Portreath and um, I could see the rain clouds in the distance, my feet were getting tired so I decided to um, catch the train from here into St Ives. Managed to get to the campsite, put my tent up five minutes before the rain started so it was a good plan. So, in order not to be accused of cheating, I've come back here this morning. It's um, ten past eight now, and I'll finish off the stretch I didn't do yesterday into St Ives. <clears throat> Here's Carbis Bay in all its glory. Early morning. Crossing over the railway line and um, off into those hills there. St Ives, Carvis Bay. Some very nice big properties around here. Set you back a few million, I think. Views up, lovely views. It's 
bit windy up here so you may not be able to hear me very well but um yeah we're just about to leave St Ives now for uh, by St Nicholas's Chapel um, about to drop down um, onto I forgot the name of the beach now um, down there and then obviously out along the headlands over there and uh, hopefully we'll go and try and get to Zeno because it's only 11 o'clock now I've managed to finish all the admin and stuff that I had to do so um, yeah time to crack on ground this is so uh, they've uh, laid out lots of stuff stuff in here it's so windy um, you've got to concentrate on because obviously they're not dead level um, but much better than uh, having to walk through the uh, squelchy boggy ground Seals. Just put it in there, isn't it? Today has been very challenging because it's mostly been this sort of scrambling around rocks. So, I mean, it's not easy physically, don't get me wrong, but it's not so much the physical challenge of it, it's the uh, mental challenge because you're having to watch and think about virtually every foothold um, you place because. Especially with a big heavy pack like I've got on, it'd be so easy to go over um, if you weren't concentrating, such as now. Um, and uh, break a bone, snap an ankle, etc. So, yeah, it's been quite tough. This has gone on now for at least three to four miles or something. I mean, one little patch. I've seen the path, I thought, oh good, we're out of the worst of it, but we've gone straight back into it again. But having said all that, we're not far. I think it's only around this headland until we can divert off the path to the Tinner's Arms at the Zena. Where I do believe. There's a pint of beer, or even two or three pints of beer. <laughs> Sat there, ready and waiting for me. <laughs>
it's day 23. Um, just, it's about 20 past seven. I'm just leaving um, Boswedak Manor, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, which uh, I managed to get into last night um, with the help of another landlady from a different B&B who didn't have room for me. But she phoned around and found that place slightly quirky for months with really. <laughs> a bit overgrown. Um, yeah, but you know, fair play to them, they put me up at the last minute. I've had to get up early because of the going out, so when breakfast was at half six, but uh, to be honest with you, that suited me anyway. Get back out on the trail. So, um, we've already had one heavy shower this morning. I'm hoping that was the last one and it's all going to pass through, but um, I've got the wet weather gear on because uh, I got soaked late last night and uh, I just about started to dry most of the stuff off so I don't want it to get all wet again I'm struggling a bit. Uh, yesterday's exertions over the rocks and equally more so today are really starting to take their toll on my Achilles. It's um, it's aching and it's it's just feeling very weak. So um, um, I'm having to take it very steady, but it's also nagging me in the back of my mind that um, I'm setting myself up for uh, some problems in the future. Um, not far now from um, Pendine Watch. You can't quite see it from where I am now. It's sort of just over, just over that headland, directly in the, in front over there. Um, but it's taking forever to get there because you're having to pick your way over all these rocks. Every footstep is uh, 
having to be thought out as to where you're going and where how you're climbing over it etc so it's very very time consuming so you don't seem to make much progress in terms of mileage anyway well i've made it the pending watch lighthouse i think that's what it's called um you know, the rain's just coming in now off the sea uh, that last last stretch has really taken it out of me both mentally and physically i found that incredibly tough going um not you know that it was incredibly steep or anything like that it was just constantly constantly having to look where you're putting your feet as you climb over all these boulders and twisting and turning and my achilles is complaining and you don't seem to make much progress i mean what time is it now so it's 10 36 when i first set eyes on this lighthouse at um eight o'clock this morning i optimistically thought i might reach here within an hour hour and a half absolute tops so it's taken uh, over two and a half hours um, I don't know what that is in the distance, but um, it's not that far, probably only three or four miles, but it's just such hard going, so I'm hoping the next stretch isn't going to be quite so tough. You can see some of the uh, mine workings in the distance. Um, so yeah, that's where we're going to be heading shortly. Anyway, the rain looks like it's just about to come lashing in, so uh, I'll switch off for now.
it's uh, day 24 I think it is just leaving the campsite at um, uh, Senan village I think it is just above Land's End walk back down to Land's End and then rejoin the coast path down there didn't sleep too badly not the best night's sleep but not the worst either um, it's a bit chilly this morning or at least I am but no doubt soon warm up carrying this stupid pack uh, plan is to go to Port Kerno and then um, see what time it is I get there and how I feel etc as to how much further I'll go beyond there um, so speak to you really later. you may not hear me but um, we're just at Land's End again now uh, everything's shut up because it's still only 8 o'clock in the morning um, which is pain because it would have been nice to have got some food never mind um, but yeah just have a quick look at the view up here so that's um, us sort of Land's End just that palm tree there. You can see the stack over there in the distance. And then uh, we're going to be wandering along the headlands over there. Look at the goat. stumble across this tiny little cafe. So a cup of coffee and sausage roll. Very pleasant. There's a little cafe in there. And then a seating area. I've got a friend. It's been scavenging my sausage roll. Mm, weren't you? You've been scavenging my sausage roll. Mm. Mm. 
been very passive, haven't you? After that tricky descent, I made my way to Porth Kernan, but nothing was open. I therefore went straight to Treen Farm Campsite, where the owner was particularly helpful and also donated my pitch fee to my Just Giving page. Soon after I pitched my tent, then Steve and Anna, fellow Coast Path walkers, turned up in the next door pitch. So I was forced to retire to the nearby Logan Rock pub with them for a pint or four. <laughs> 